So you bought a Cricut Joy, but it's just sitting and gathering dust because you have no idea what to do with it. Don't stress. I know that feeling very well and I'm going to help you. In this video, I'm going to help you get up and running with your machine and we'll do a couple of really easy projects. You won't believe how simple it is to use and the cool things that you can make in just a matter of minutes. Hi, I'm Rabia and on this channel I share how to make elegant and beautiful craft projects because the world is just a better place when you made something that wasn't there before. In this video I will cover everything you see on the screen now so there is a lot that I want to show you. I'm really happy for you to just use the timestamps in the description below and move around to the areas that are most useful and most relevant for you. Let's first start by going through what you get in the box. So of course you get the Cricut Joy. Now what I love about this and what is the defining characteristic of the machine is that it is so small and super portable. And what I love about that is that it's going to open up creativity for so many of us who might otherwise think we just don't have the space. But the Cricut Joy is really small so you can stick it anywhere in your home, in a drawer, in a cupboard, on a shelf and it's not going to take up a lot of room. And equally it means you can take it around with you so you know take it into your classroom and you can quickly rip up projects for your lessons or take it to craft fairs or school fairs and you know personalize things on the spot. So in terms of the design of it, um, it still has the kind of very super sleek sort of finish. There's not even any buttons on this thing. It just has the one clamp at the front where you would place your cutting blade or if you're using a pen. So that's the fine point blade that comes with it. That's one thing that's different from the bigger models. It doesn't have a clamp A and a clamp B, there's just the one clamp in there. I'm not personally a massive fan of the colour, but you know, I do think the design overall is very sleek and elegant. As far as it comes to your blades, it obviously depends on how much you use it, but generally I would say with like a fair amount of usage, I would replace that blade every six months just to make sure you're continuing to get really clean and crisp cuts on your machine. In the box, as well as the fine point cutting blade, you will also get a pen and you will get a cutting mat and your power adapters, both US and UK, just in case you want to take it on holiday with you. Now, there are some items that I highly recommend for your additional next step purchases when you buy a Cricut Joy. The card mat and the specially made Cricut insert cards allow you to make greetings cards like in minutes, just like this one. So I will show you that in a moment. So the next would be Smart Vinyl. This is specially engineered vinyl that can be fed directly into your Cricut Joy without using a mat. Those of you familiar with the Cricut universe will know that this technology was first introduced with the Cricut Joy. It is now available with the newer Cricut Maker 3 and the Cricut Explore 3. The cool thing about it is that obviously it's just easier. You don't have to faff around with getting your material to stick down onto the mat. And also, because you don't need to use the mat, the machine can cut the full length of your smart vinyl. So this one here is over a metre long and you can now get even longer length. So this is six metres long. So if you wanted to, you could cut the entire length of this and make a really long decal to decorate a bedroom wall or a window or something. Of course, if you're using vinyl, you then need transfer tape. So this comes specially sized for Cricut Joy vinyl. Of course, you could use any transfer tape, but this is nice just because it's been cut down to size to match your Cricut Joy vinyl roll. And I would also recommend getting a set of weeding tools. So I have the maker, so I just use the tools that I purchased with that. But there is a specific accessory set you can get that is for the Cricut Joy. And my final recommendation, this is not really necessary, but it's a very nice to have, which is the new foil transfer kit. I love all things sparkly and shiny in my projects, and the cool thing about the foil tool is that you can add those elements, but it still looks elegant. It's not going over the top because you create, you know, really fine lines. So that is a definite nice to have extra addition when you buy your Cricut Joy. So yeah, everything I've just shown you, those would be at the top of my list. They're definitely fantastic aids for, you know, helping you complete projects very quickly. And I really feel like that is what we want to get out of the Cricut Joy. We want it to be minimal hassle and, you know, as quick and easy to use as possible. And these are all great ways to kind of help you with that. Of course, there are loads of other pens, glitter pens, different, you know, finishes for the insert cards, different colors of vinyls. And I mean, I talked about um, smart vinyls, but of course there's iron-on vinyl as well, infusible ink. So there is a lot. Check out the Cricut UK shop for the full range. And if you use the code CREWRABIA, then you can get 10% off your orders. So before I demonstrate exactly how the Cricut Joy works, let's just take it back to basics. The Cricut Joy is a digital cutting machine. So what that means is, you know, you design projects on your computer or your phone, you send them to the Cricut Joy and it will cut out or write out whatever it is that you had designed. 
Now, the only way that the Cricut Joy can do that is if a special piece of software called Design Space speaks to it and tells it exactly what it is you want to do. So today I will demonstrate using the Design Space app on your phone and connecting that to your Cricut Joy. You can of course use your laptop or desktop. I just want to demonstrate using it on the phone because I really feel like the Joy is supposed to be, you know, a frictionless, easy craft machine to use and what's easier than grabbing your phone and knocking out a quick project. If you go to the App Store or the Play Store, just search and download the Cricut Design Space app and then you might need to set up an ID if you're not an existing Cricut machine owner. And once you've done that, you'll find yourself on the home page. Now, what we'll need to do first is set up the machine. My Joy is actually already connected because I've used it before, but I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how you would do this. So you would select Machine Setup and I'm going to select the Cricut Joy. So you must make sure that your machine is um, plugged in and on. So I'm going to do that now. The Joy automatically turns on when you plug it in. So just make sure to unplug when you're finished. Otherwise you're going to leave it running in the background. Then also make sure your Bluetooth settings are on. Mine are, so I'm going to hit connect. It might take a moment or two for it to appear on your screen. I don't know if you guys saw my Cricut Explore 3 unboxing, but I do now get quite nervous when I'm connecting machines after what happened then. Okay, but this one seems like it's working. It's appeared, so I'm going to select on the Joy. Ah, yes! It's updated and activated and ready to go! I always feel like I have to do a happy dance now when this process works. Continue. Okay, so it's now asking me whether I want to be a Cricut Access member. I personally have been a Cricut Access member since I first got my Cricut Maker. If you want to know more about my opinions on the pros and cons of being a member, then just leave me your questions in the comments. But for now, let's just skip it and say maybe later. Okay, so the first thing it will do is ask you if you want to do a test cut. You will have some materials that came in the box which you can use to do this. I'm going to skip this step because I don't particularly feel like making any of these, but if you want to, then definitely just follow the steps and complete the test cut. But I'm going to hit skip. All right, so now we are on the home page and because we've selected Cricut Joy, it's going to make sure that it's showing us the projects that are most relevant for the Cricut Joy machine because of course it's smaller, so it won't be showing the big kind of project you would do on a Maker or on Explore. Okay, let's get making. We are going to start by making an insert card like this. They are very quick, very simple, so I'm sure you guys will find this really easy to do. So the Cricut insert cards, what you get in the pack will be a set of card blanks and then those come in a bunch of different colours and then insert cards in complementary colours. And the way these projects work is you just have some design cut into the top layer and you might also use pens for some drawing. And then you simply place the insert card into the back and there'll be specially cut holes for you to do that. And that completes the design. So I've done a quick search for birthday cards and I'm going to go for this unicorn themed one because why not? My daughter is attending a birthday party this weekend so I'm sure she'll enjoy. So once you've chosen a card you want to make, you need to select the size. I never remember sizes, so an easy way of checking is to take your card blank and then if you simply place it on the mat, you'll see which of the guidelines it aligns up with and that tells you your size. So this is 4.25 by 5.5 inches. So I simply select that on my Design Space app. And what we need to do is your mat has got a protective film on top, so we want to peel that away. And what you'll see is that there is a plastic layer that covers the mat. And you simply take your card blank and you insert it underneath that. Basically what this is doing is protecting the other side of the blank, so that when you fold the top down onto the mat, then only that one will get the cutting and the drawing into it. I love using the brayer to secure my uh, materials onto my mat. One thing I would say is that, especially with the card mat, I've noticed that on first use it's very sticky. That can make it hard to peel off your card when you're done. So I would say before you put your card blank on here, maybe take a cloth or some other spare card and just peel it on and off a few times to reduce the stickiness. Okay, so we've selected the size we need. We're going to select make it. If your design space has disconnected by the way and it will ask you to reselect your accessory just give it a minute for it to appear in your bluetooth okay so we have to first of all select our material so we are using the insert card cardstock so i'm going to select that 
And then what I want him to do is to load the black pen into the clamp and then load up my mat. The black pen is the one that comes with the machine. I've actually got a few other pens and I prefer to use this nice, it's sort of like a rusty gold bronze kind of metallic. So I always put the lid on the back so I don't lose it. Open up the clamp. If your fine point blade is in, take that out. Load in your pen and then the cool thing about the Joy is that it automatically feeds in your mat. It has sensors that can tell when your mat is in place. So yeah, it just did that automatically. And then you simply tap go. So this design needs the pen and also the blade. So Design Space is now prompting me to load in the blade. Let's remove the pen, place in our blade. And again, just press go. Okay, so you have to hit unload on your um, Design Space app to remove the mat. Don't try and pull it out. Okay, and now we can remove it. So we are basically done with the design. I think that took less than two minutes. How cool. So as I said, the card mat is really sticky, so you need to peel this away now, but just be a bit cautious that you don't tear your design. So of course you should use your scraper to just remove the extra little bits that are left on your mat. It's always best to try and keep them clean so they last longer. And of course, then grab your protective sheet and cover it up again. So the final step, really simple, grab your insert card and then push it through these little slots it's created for you. So there you have it, that took no time at all. I can really see this being a great option for, you know, when you're like, running at the door to get to an event of some sort and you just forgot to get a card. You only need an extra minute or two to knock out one of these. So for me, that is a big win as far as the joy is concerned. Okay, so let's give Smart Vinyl a try. So I've got a nice shiny gold roll of it here. You can see that it has this backing. So what's special about this is the backing that the vinyl is on is much thicker and stronger than it is on like ordinary vinyl. And that is what allows the machine to cut directly on this backing as opposed to on a mat. I've already designed the image I want to cut, so I'm just gonna go through to make it. And this is where you would choose whether you're using a mat or not. Very exciting to be able to say without mat. So this screen is just telling me that I'm cutting without the mat. It tells you how much material you need. I'm just going to feed in my entire roll, but it's helpful to know the amount that I would need to cut or the minimum that I would need if I were using up like a scrap. So continue. I now need to select my material, Smart Vinyl Permanent. Load tool, so I need to have the fine point blade in here, which I already do. And now it wants me to load the material into the machine. So if I'll simply lay it down like this, and you need to bring it underneath these two white sort of hooks. And like with the card mat, it feeds it in automatically. So it's first checked that there's enough material and it's happy, so we can just press go. Okay, and then as before, we have to select unload and out it comes. And this is so cool, guys. Like I fed in the entire roll to the joy, but it has cut out my design for me just at the top here. So it's time to weed and transfer this onto my project. is a glittery vinyl so it requires strong grip transfer tape and you can see on the box as well um, for whichever material you're using it will suggest the best vinyl for you to use with that so simply lay your transfer tape on top you could curve it and start from the middle i do try and use the grid lines to sort of align up with the letters to get everything straight and then just Give it a good rubbing down on both sides. Peel back. 
Oh, that's a lovely transfer. And then simply apply to your blank. So this is actually something I'm making for a friend of mine. Her daughter is starting school in September. So I'm just getting a little, um, little hamper ready for her of um, bits and bobs she might need for starting school because it's such an exciting time. My daughter only started this last year. She's just finishing her first year, so reception. It's been very cute. So there we have. So the only difference when you're using a cutting mat is that you would place whatever you're cutting, your vinyl or cardstock, whatever it is, onto the cutting mat, rub it down with the brayer and then insert it into your machine. You might find this is a good way to use up your scrap pieces of smart vinyl because once they're down to like a small size, you can't feed them in the machine. So just apply them onto a cutting mat and then you can still use them and they won't go to waste. So hopefully now you're feeling more confident with your Cricut Joy. I'd love to see the projects you guys try. So please do tag me on Instagram at London Craft Girl. I've put together a little playlist of my most popular Cricut tutorials for you to check out. Until the next video guys, happy crafting. Guys, wait, don't go yet because I have yet again forgotten to open the envelope. It seems to be a theme with me in my unboxing videos. I think I just get so excited to actually like try the machine that I just don't really care about finding the warranty documents. This is a quick start guide by the looks of it. It's kind of got a few images showing you what you do to use the machine, but you've watched his videos, so you don't need that. There's some sample materials. So this is some smart vinyl. Um, smart vinyl meaning you don't need a cutting mat, a piece of lovely blue cardstock uh, yeah the warranty and the cutting mat thank you for watching guys I will see you next time